afternoon. Morning. We got a pay or is it free? No, oh, cheers. <laughs> Sorry, mate, how much you got on the uh, clock down there? Oh, I've got 10 on that, mate. 10, yeah. That's all right, cheers. How much you got on that one there? Eight pound. Is it all working all right? Yeah. yeah. Just so the soap. It's a for it as well. Yeah, okay. Did you go five on it? With the book? Seven. Seven. I was asking if you'd for it. <laughs> oh, on my, you? Yeah, on my uh, place in that there, going for like 20, 30 quid. Yeah, go on then. Is that with yeah. the book as well, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. First buy of the day. That's it. There's five there. Thank you. There you go. Brilliant, Seven. thank you. Take care. Cheers. Yeah, no, not all Perfect. Fancy seeing you here. You're right, mate. Hello. Oh. How you doing? Good man. Georgia, my man. Congrats on your channel. Bro. Cheers, mate. Thanks, yeah. A bit mad. Five, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much you got on the little uh, sword thing there? Yeah, Quid. Quid. Yeah, go on then. I'll take that. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. How much for this one here? 250. 250. Okay. Yeah, you got it, I'll say that. Thank you, cheers. How much on the shoes there? Uh, £2. Pounds. £2. Pounds. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. Just butting in quickly, if you're wondering why I'm buying unbranded Converse, it is purely just for the white laces. I bought these Hello Kitty ones on Vinted the other day for £5. These sell for around £45 in this condition because they're like brand new pretty much. And if you look here, one of the laces has nearly split in half completely. So the aim of the game today was to try and find pretty much brand new laces if I could as cheap as possible. So two quid for this pair of shoes. I'll take the laces out of them, put them into the Converse and then hopefully I get myself a nice little sale. Let's get back to the car boot. How much for the lot? Eight pounds. Eight pounds, okay. Yeah. Sorry, how much you got on the uh, Connect 4 over there? The big one. I don't know. Um, fiver? Fiver. Is it all complete? You got all the tiles and stuff? All the tiles, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll take that for my little one. Yeah, Can I leave it here? Is that all right? I'll give you the money now if you want. That's fine. Get some brownie points at home for that. Oh, you will. Yeah. It's good it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. She'll love it. So. She'll probably lose all the little tiles straight away, but that's that's life, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. I'll be back in a sec. Do you know if there's any more books? Like, have you got any books laying around for this? It looks like it's missed a few, but... Any other Nerf guns at all anywhere? Or? No, that's the only no? one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cool, thank you. I'll be back in a sec for that. Cheers. See, what's this? Wow. How much on the uh, speakers there? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Do so you have one in the box? Yeah. Same one, yeah. yeah what is it? Just two of them, is it? Just two, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see that one. Did you go eight on them? Two quid off? 
Yeah, go on. Yeah? Cool, go on, that's it then. Thank you. Got to hold it tight, I feel like the wind's going to blow my hand. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank Cheers. You. Sorry, how much you got on the boots here? 50 pounds. 50? Yeah. Got any other shoes at all or? No. Just them? Okay. Cheers. So as nice as that was going back to the car boot, it was lovely to see everyone. I have actually got to go and pick up a few pairs of shoes. So we're just here in Morrison's at the moment, going to the impost lockers collect a few pairs and then I've got a few at Every and a few at Yodel as well so I'll go through them and show you what I found on Vinted and also go through what I found at the car boot this morning uh, not the best car boot first one of the year but it was like I just said it was so nice being back in the field and seeing everybody um, I'll be back next week hopefully it's a bit sunnier it was quite stormy last night so I think that put off a load of sellers that didn't really want to set up their stalls because it was so windy and people's stuff was flying everywhere today as, as you probably saw in the video but yeah, let's go to the lockers, see what we found, and go from there. Sorry, my hair's a bit crazy. The wind has blown my hair absolutely wild this morning. Uh, yeah, first pair, let's get into it. Pretty nice standard, bog standard, Converse moves, platforms. Pretty nice condition, actually. Hardly worn at all, actually, it looks like. No holes on the inside heels, that's what I usually look out for on these ones because they usually get massive holes on the inside. As long as there's none of that, then they're pretty good sellers. But even with the holes, they still sell pretty well, usually for around 25 30 quid. These ones here, though, after a cleanup, probably looking at an easy 40 quid for these ones. So, not a bad stop. Next up, again, quite bog standard for me, another pair of New Balance 327s. Nice clean condition, but again, the only issue on these ones is a little bit of wear on the corners of the heels there, as you can see on the soles. But other than that, they're pretty clean. They're not stained at all, so they're a size five and a half. Decent women's size, probably again, 35, 45 quid. Okay, this one was a bit of a beauty of a find. So we got Made in England, Dr. Martins, hardly worn at all on the soles, as you can see. Not still toe caps or anything, just the sort of low formal postman shoes. As you saw in one of my previous videos, I did sell a pair of the Royal Mail ones for about 80 quid, I think it was. These ones here aren't the Royal Mail, but they still have the little Dr. Martin's tag there. Made in England. Tick all the boxes. Perfect men's size. I think they're a size 9. Uh, these ones here paid £15 plus the fees. They should sell for around 60, maybe 65 quid. I think we've got six shoes to pick up from every, so go there see what we got um, I might take you back into the garage just to show you that and go over the car boot stock so we'll go from there guess who forgot to click record on the camera whilst I'm packing all the remaining vintage snipes this guy did so we're here now it's Sunday evening I'm gonna go through once again and tell you guys what I found I did do it earlier as soon as I was back from the car boot I was so tired I really needed my coffee so starting off with the Sony speakers I thought these might be a little bit more in demand but turns out they're not really worth anything I couldn't find any listings on Google, I found the pictures and maybe like 25 quid if I'm lucky, but I might chance them. They look brand new. I have got the original packaging as well, so that does help a little bit. I think they're unused. You can kind of tell by just the way the cables look and everything, and they look pretty clean. But yeah, you can tell that I haven't been to a car boot in a while. £8, hopefully not completely lost, maybe break even one day, but preferably make a profit, but we'll wait and see. I then paid £2.50 for this Enid Blyton adventure book set. Uh, I think there's eight books there. Again, didn't really have any idea on it. It was kind of slim pickings this morning. Paid £2.50 and I'll show you some sales on the screen, but it's looking at like £7 return. So really not worth it, to be honest. And next up was this Lego Ninjago foam sword. These actually sell really well. Not massive money, but for a quid, I wasn't going to leave it behind. Um, probably get like a tenner out of that one, even just for that sort of like holster hold all thing as well. I could probably sell that separately if I wanted to. And finally, probably the best find of the day, found this first thing as soon as I got to the car boot. Came with this little recipe book as well. It's just a Morphe Richards um, soup machine maker blender sort of thing. You put all the vegetables in there and it blends your soup and whatever. These sell quite easily for around £35, maybe stretching 40 if they're in good condition. I haven't properly looked at this one yet. I'm hoping for closer to the £40 mark. So I've got the remaining vintage snipes here. I'll go through then and try and show the screenshots on the screen of how much I did actually pay, just in case I get it a little bit wrong. I think there's about seven pairs of shoes here. So let's start with these ones here. 
just a pair of basic slip-on sketches. As you see from previous videos, I sell these quite often. These ones cost me just five pounds. So five pound plus the fees, 8.50. I'm not gonna explain it with every pair, but the fees are usually around three to three pound 50 extra. So these ones would have cost me about eight pound 50 all in. And they should sell for around 30, maybe 35 pound on eBay. And then we've got these here, which are a nice green pair of Adidas Gazelles with the sort of gum sole. These ones here cost me £12.50. With gazelles, there's usually a sort of minimum price if they're in good condition and there's plenty of tread on the soles. You can kind of always get that £30 for them. Uh, but because this is quite a unique colourway, you don't really see it too often, the sort of bright green colour. I'm hoping for more like 35 possibly even like 37 40 quid. But we'll wait and see once again. I picked up these ones. I wasn't too sure on them. They are New Balance 425s. They cost me £10, but the condition is almost like new. So I just thought I'd take a chance on them. I had to get the shoes in. I'd hardly had any stock coming last week, so I just went on a little like vintage snipe spree and just started sniping as many shoes as possible. Ended up grabbing these ones. Hopefully they go for like 30 odd quid. Next up, we've got a pair of Mizuno Wave, what are they called? Wave Ibuki O3s. So these ones here, they're brand new with tags. They're men's size 12, so pretty big, but they should still fly out the door quite easily. They cost me 15 pound. It was actually a free postage snipe as well. So roughly about 16 pound all in. Because they're brand new with tags, I'm hoping for that sort of 45 pound, maybe even more. I haven't actually checked sold yet, but around 45 pound. Going from experience, that's usually the sort of price which Mizuno running shoes sell for. Next up, super happy with these ones. These ones here have only been worn about twice, and she said that in the description. Luckily, I was the first to see them. They cost me £10. They're a pair of Runstar Hike Converse, and I think they're a size 8 as well, so quite a popular unisex size. These ones here should sell for around 45 to 50 quid. I only sold some about two weeks ago for, I think, 48 quid, so shouldn't be far off that on these ones as well. And they should require absolutely no cleaning at all. Put some shoe trees in there, get some quick photos, stick them on eBay, and hopefully we get that quick sale. These are a pair of OnCloud Cloud Novas. Pretty nice clean condition. They cost me 15 quid, so paying up a little bit, but the brand is there. The brand will sell. I know that I can get at least 50 quid for these ones, I reckon, in this condition. There's no rips, nothing bad, nothing serious at all. The insole even has all its print on it. There's the tag as well, so everything's in good nick, good laces. It's literally just a little bit of wear on the soles, but other than that, they're pretty good. Oh, and I nearly forgot. I've got a pair right here, <laughs> but a little bit different. These are a pair of Jackson Glacier ice skates. So figure skating skates sell really well. If you see them at the car boots, try and pick them up. They usually fly out the door. Um, these are men's size nine, so quite a decent adult size once again. They cost me £10 plus the fees, so not much at all. And usually on eBay, I can sell these sort of skates for around 40, maybe £45, possibly even more depending on the brand and the model and the size and condition, all that sort of stuff all comes into play. But you're usually safe, especially at 10 quid. And lastly, these ones here, which are a pair of slip-on SpongeBob vans. I can't remember the exact model name, but I'll show you some comps on the screen and you'll see that brand new, these sell really well, maybe even like above 50 quid sometimes. Unfortunately, these ones don't have the box or any labels on them, but they are pretty much brand new and unworn. So I was happy to pay the 15 pound for them, hoping to get that 50 pound sale, but we'll wait and see once again. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the small bit of car boot footage. At least it was something different from the garage for once. Yeah, not the best car boot. I think there was about five rows of cars and so many resellers. It's so hard to find decent items, but still waiting for those summer months where we get the quality stock and constant cars coming into the field. That's what we want, because then you get straight to the car, first dibs on the items and you get the really good quality stuff. So stay tuned to the channel, more car boot videos to come. Next week, hopefully we're at my good car boot because as long as it stays sunny all week, it should stay dry on the grass, dry enough for cars to go on the grass and start selling. And they'll actually open. They were supposed to open today, but it was too wet once again. And yeah, so hopefully see you in a car boot video next week. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.